emperor was at the center of gupta administration he adopted titles like maharaja dhiraj param bhagwat usually prince was appointed as the head of the province kumaramatya and commissioner played a important role in the province the province was called bhukti whose head was regional the province was divided into districts the district was called vishaya a committee was formed at the village level which included elders village heads and important adult citizens students the emperor was at the center in the administration of the state he adopted titles like maharaja dhiraj and param bhagwat economic condition during gupta age in economic terms gupta age was a golden period farming internal trade and international trade were very well developed special farming practices included annual 3 year and 5 year farming wheat rice in north india sugarcane in gandhar grapes and kesar in kashmir and coconut in kamrup were grown rice was grown in large quantity in bengal cotton in gujarat and sindh and silk was produced in bengal trade of condiments and spices silk and cotton had developed in south india king used to tax one sixth of the total production land was donated to brahmins and temples International trade was the epitome of Gupta age. Cotton, silk and spices were exported to Europe from India through Central Asia. While cotton, silk, spices, condiments and timber were exported to east and west of the world through international ports like Kambat, Bharuj, Sopara and Tamralipti, gold, silver and other items were imported. Students farming internal trade and international trade were very well developed during this time there was cultivation of wheat and rice in north india sugarcane in gandhar grapes and saffron that is kesar in kashmir cotton in gujarat and sindh and silk in bengal the king took a sixth part of the total product as tax land was donated to brahmins and temples spices cotton cloth silk cloth timber etc were exported from international ports like kambat bharuj sopara and tamralipti etc while gold and silver were imported religious status hinduism and indian culture are seen in full swing during gupta age the gupta emperors gave vaishnavism the status of state religion as a result vishnu his avatars shri ram and shri krishna were mostly worshiped at this time Lakshmi became very famous goddess it was during this time only that ramayan the mahabharat as well as the puranas were recompiled shrimad bhagavad gita became very important text of this time like vaishnavism shaivism also developed during gupta age in south india shaiv saints were called nayanar while vaishnav saints were called alwar in south india mahishasur madini durga was also quite popularly worshiped there the worship of kartikeya was also practiced during gupta age even buddhism and jainism also developed during gupta age samudra gupta was protector of buddhism mahayan and hinayan cult of buddhism also developed students gupta emperors gave vaishnavism the status of state religion shaiv saints were called nayanar in south india whereas vaishnav saints were called alwar they worshiped mahishasur mardini that is durga the worship of kartikeya was also famous buddhism and jainism were also developed during the gupta age samudra gupta was a protector of buddhism at that time mahayan and hinayan cults were developed in buddhism